Earl. Listen, I got an idea about what we can do with the fancy forks. Let me guess, Randy, a fork robot? No, what? Do you know how to make a fork robot? And I'm locking this door. I don't want you sneaking back in and trying to put your dirty hands all over me. Women, they sure are loud, huh, Earl? Anyway, about the fancy forks. Enough about the forks, I need some air. I dropped off my ransom note that night and Dottie found it the next morning. It scared the pee-pee out of her, which at her age wasn't a hard thing to do. So all I had to do was wait for Dottie to make the drop. I told her to put two grand in a Chubby's barbecue bag and leave it in the trash can outside the old train station. I had a close call when Joy drove by, but that smoker's cough was better than a cowbell around her neck. Dottie was right on time, as old people and librarians tend to be. Lucky for me, she was both. I was a smart enough criminal not to go for the money right away, just in case anyone was watching. I forgot to ask Randy what he was doing following that guy with the tight striped pants. It was at that point I decided to forget about the whole scheme. And don't worry, that homeless guy is on my list. Especially since I've seen him around town and he's still blue. And looking back on it now, I realize karma must not have liked what I did because it tried to kill me with an exploding bush. Now that Joy's neighbors have moved away, I could finally dig up the silverware and return it to the library. There was only one problem. I don't understand, Randy. I can swear this is where we buried the silverware. There was a reason Earl couldn't find that silverware, and I knew what it was. You know the kind of guy who likes hanging out with his brother, watching cartoons, and also likes to touch things with his tongue? Well, that's me. I'm also the kind of guy who likes hanging out with his brother and watching cartoons. Oh, wait, I already said that. I also hold the Camden County record for staring at the sun. My name is Randy. My name is Randy. I can swear we buried the silverware right here. Maybe someone from China dug and got it from the other end. I just think maybe I'm off by a few feet. How did I know?